about it, yeah? I think poetry is like the spontaneous overflow of powerful feelings. Like when you feel something strongly like love or hate or anger or sadness, it just overflows naturally. The things we say, the only difference, they might use some very technical words, but it's the same feelings. It takes from its origin emotions recollected in tranquility. That time when you just collect everything you feel into a box and you decide to either write or speak, that in itself is poetry. Of course, there's now the literary meanings to it and the rules that you know, should be abide when writing in this, in this style. Now, for World Poetry Day, it is celebrated on the 21st of March and was declared by UNESCO, believe it or not, in 1999. The main aim was just supporting linguistic diversity through poetic expression and the increasing opportunity for endangered languages to be heard. Now, my guest today, Kufred Joan Took, is an author of two books. There's Taurus of Verses, Anthology of Poems, and poetic eulogies. And then also, there's also the tribe of the West Sun. Speaking of Taurus of you verses, you know, it is an anthology of 79 poems and eulogies, 28 of them being contemporary topics, and then there are others that are dedicated to very, I would put, I would say legendary characters, not just themes, actual people who have distinguished themselves in their, in their specific fields. Well, to speak some more of this and World Poetry Day and how we could be celebrated, how we could be encouraged, I am now joined on Arise 360 today by my guest from our Lagos studio. It's great to have you on the show and is it, it's safe to say happy World Poetry Day, correct? Yeah. Thank you very much, Kache. It's good to be here. Uh, today is World Poetry Day, as you have said. And uh, here I, I am with you and others to celebrate poetry in Nigeria. Yeah, so talk so, to me about that. Uh, the, you, One second, if you don't mind. I mean, I would like to ask you a question. Can I do that? <laughs> Okay, go thank ahead. Thank you, thank you very much. So I was just going to say that it is World Poetry Day in Nigeria. And speaking of someone who's written eulogies, you've written poems, where would you say we are in terms of promoting the culture of poetry from the, from, I would say from a very minor level, you know, from the secondary school, primary school level, as young children, would you say we live in a country that it is completely encouraged for people to grow up with these things. Where would you say we are? Kache, the situation in our country is very unfortunate. Mm. I, 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 we haven't done much. I, it's very disappointing. Generally, reading culture have been lo almost lost in Nigeria. Uh, sad to say that uh, so many young people have really uh, fantasized with the visual. So they go watching movies and all that the internet can offer. Uh, but they forget about the fact that the internet also offers reading. It also offers uh, a whole lot in terms of education and materials to read. So I, I don't believe personally that we've done much. I don't even know uh, these days uh, whether we still have literature teachers and uh, how far they've been able to take the young ones. And so that's why uh, someone like me now, we're trying to make a conscious effort uh, to bring down poetry. I understand the fact that uh, uh, people can easily follow prose, novels, and drama. But poetry, because of uh, its nature, uh, bemuses and confuses, and uh, a lot of people shy away from it. So we are trying to bring it down to the level where the, 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 the young ones could appreciate. Uh, that's why we have put up this work together. And uh, I thank God for the World Poetry Day because uh, we use a program like this to uh, uh, whip up sentiments and uh, you know, promote poetry and let people begin to see poetry from a different light. So that actually is one thing they, they, they really have to appreciate because when you appreciate poetry, even when you are watching a movie, you appreciate the, uh, appreciate the movies better because most good movies, those on the level of the bravura, I can say, uh, the lines are delivered in poetry. So if you are a good poet or a follower of poetry, you would enjoy the, the lines in the movies that you watch, especially foreign movies. 
So I think we have a lot to do with regard to that. I completely agree with you. Now, I want us to speak as, a, as, as, as poetry as a profession. Um, just like you rightly mentioned, right, there's an appreciation for drama, you know, especially within our theatre space. There's a deep, deep appreciation for that. And it's a conversation that we continue to have to ensure that more and more people see this as a space that's not only entertaining, but equally economically viable for our creative economy. Now, for poetry, I want to get behind the mind of the poet. We've seen a lot of talents do, you know, come out on several shows, you know, to do their own style of poetry, even others infusing different styles to make it a lot more enjoyable. And I think, you know, there are literature teachers. I mean, secondary school these days, you have to choose between science and art, which I would argue by digressing to say, I wish I did everything. I was a science student in secondary school and I had no idea that I had a flair for art. So sometimes that also limits us in a way. <laughs> <laughs> but I do believe that they are still literature teachers. <laughs> but the mind behind the poets, do you sometimes think a lot goes into poetry that might be a little too tasking than other fields of entertainment like drama or music? With poetry, it's, it's, it's the depth, it has more depth. Would you say that? Yes, poetry has depth. And uh, death, and if you are yeah, full of it, you, you enjoy it so much. One good thing that poetry does is that it teaches new words. It teaches a lot of new words. For instance, if you pick up this, my book and read, uh, I, I'm not bragging, but certainly one would need a dictionary around to appreciate. Uh, that is what people don't like to do. Uh, that, 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 that aspect of uh, maybe bring a, little, uh, a dictionary around to, to study. Uh, uh, but you cannot really appreciate, appreciate literature, even if we are talking about prose or, or drama, without necessarily having a uh, dictionary around you. Because you have to learn new words. When you look at, listen to people speak, uh, like the way you present your program in a very ecstatic manner, very, very aesthetic manner. Uh, it's not a day's job. People have got to bend down, people have got to read, people have got to use the dictionary to understand things, understand words. So the poet eats words. An imagery is the soul of poetry. If you cannot stitch your imagery in a way that people begin to see the seven primary uh, poetry images of sound, of uh, visuals, of, uh, of hearing, of smell, I tell you what, uh, poetry is the last living thing created by God is the last living thing. After he created man and everything, he created poetry. Because it shares the same attributes of humans, same attributes of living things, of smell, of, of visuals, of, uh, of smell, of, 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 uh, of tests, and all of that. Except that it doesn't die. And it will not die. But most times it goes aground, like we have in Nigeria now. It has gone aground, especially except for the ones you're talking about, that the, the youth come at spoken, spoken word and all of that. Uh, the real in-depth poetry that when you read it, you learn. Uh, you, you learn a lot. You see, you, you see things in their true color. You see words, this teaching of words, in a way that they bring out uh, the figures of speech. I mean... Uh, We've lost that. Yeah, so yeah. I want to encourage everyone, today being the World Poetry Day, let everyone begin to appreciate poetry. And in fact, there's something that people must understand and know. Uh, there's what is called the uh, uh, Poet Laureate. I, I read some time ago that there was one in Nigeria. I don't know whether it's still functional. I want to say that all secondary schools, beginning from today, the principals of schools, secondary schools, teacher institutions, states, Local governments should begin to have uh, poet laureates, people who are masterminds in poetry, and have them, and we begin to have poetry slam or poetry competitions and slam. You know, so on such dates, people will come and read poetry, talk poetry, and then maybe they are given a prize. But for the poet laureates, they are employed. Those are the people that will write everything the government does, every function, they reduce it into a poem and come out to read it in a way that would put color, add color, add flair, I mean, add sound to whatever is done. And they get paid. So it's time we begin to do that. And I tell you what again, 
the best writers on earth are put. You could of course, say I know that. you know that. You, you could say that. There's so something you just other... said that I just but, wanted you to, you know, just touch on a little more. You mentioned spoken word and poetry. I've always thought spoken word was a type of poetry. What would you say the difference is? Because the way you made it seem, it was as though spoken word is the less ambiguous or less um, academically vibrant aspect of poetry. How would you separate the two? Just to give that more context. Well, spoken word, I'm not trying to undermine it. Uh, it belongs in a class of its own. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, but when people come out to do that, um, that's how they do it. I, I think that's another style of uh, this thing. But I am of the generation that believe in the real concentrated poetry that when someone looks at it, it sees the seven primary poetry images that I talked about. You see uh, the figures of speech. You see a lot of things. And it, it, you know, it may, may not be easy to bring that up as a spoken word thing. You know, so probably you may have to, to read it or something. So I'm um, of the, should I say maybe the old school or something. But anyway you look at it, there's still poetry and that's it to be celebrated. I'm not undermining it. All right, all right. Well, I wish I could spend more time with you, but we've got to put us, you know, just put a nod in it there. Thank you so much for joining me and happy World Poetry Day. I am definitely gonna spend my evening just basking in the beauty of some amazing poems myself. A big thank you for being on the show today.